Hey team, Richard Tubb here. We're in Berlin, Germany for the big Pax 8 Beyond EMEA conference. And I'm joined today by one of my closest friends in the industry. Absolutely love this guy, James Steele of Sales Builder. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Loving the event. Yeah. Uh, I've had a slightly less eventful start to mine than you. I lost my luggage on the way here, so I'm, I'm kitted out. And this is the man, I Look should say. Shot. Let's give a, a public shout out here. You are like my personal shopper. Not too much detail on that front. Oh, yes, it's been a few. <laughs> let's just say I'm wearing a lot of clothes that James acquired for me. So thank you for that. I'm slightly scarred. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Down to business. Pax A Beyond EMEA. Why are sales builder here? Because I think you've got a little bit of an announcement to make, right? Yeah, we're really excited about this event in particular because we have, there's two big developments. The first one is we're really proud to announce that we're actually in the Pax A marketplace now, which as any vendor knows, that's a really important yeah. step. And obviously they're doing great things in the market and it's a fantastic opportunity to get in front of loads of the sort of the more operationally mature MSPs so we're, we're yeah totally happy about that one and we've also uh, integrated the Pax8 marketplace within our tool now so you can actually create uh, quotes proposals and see service gaps yeah. create bundles uh, work with multiple distributors and, and hardware suppliers and all that kind of thing all within sales builder without ever leaving the, the, the sort of single pane of glass as it were and that's yeah. always the ultimate aim well, this is awesome news and one of the things about Pax and sales builder other companies all of the companies here you mentioned it there operational maturity tend to be very progressive very next generation looking really to the future yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah and i've been speaking to a few msps around here and they're saying i was like how's it going and they're saying we're rubbing shoulders with high achievers with other people who are looking to the future and that so what's the buzz been like for you since you've got to berlin yeah i have to say there's a very different feel here in terms of it's exactly as you've said it's a slightly different type of profile of msp and i think you're absolutely right in terms of the fact that it's that they're more progressive and they're certainly looking for efficiency gains and obviously that's very much when you talk about yes we're a, a quotation and proposal tool but actually it's really the automation and the underlying sort of standardization that's so important and those are the things that are important so it's a really nice alignment between us and, the, and those partners and yeah. uh, and the event itself i was i'm going to say i'm beginning to question whether it's worth us doing some events and there's a totally different feel here in terms of not only the sort of the thought leadership, but the networking opportunities. I felt there's been way more opportunities to network and have chats. It's been non-stop yeah. conversations since I've got here. So, yeah, very different event from some of the ones I have been at. So yeah. I recommend it to any MSP that wants to come along because you definitely would get a lot out of the caliber of peer that you're alongside. So I think we've got 504 MSPs and that's a legit figure. That is not a oh, event, right. event figure okay. that they talk about. So Rob Ray told me uh, that. So lots of MSPs here. Um, but let's, so there's going to be lots of MSPs watching this who are perhaps not aware of your work as James Steele, uh, not aware of who Sales Builder are. So let's start out. Sales Builder, what is it you do? How do you help MSPs? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're uh, at its core, we're a, a, a sales proposal and quotation tool. But it's quite a bit more than that. Oh, yeah. So there's also a CRM stage as well. So you can see your, your, your pipeline, your opportunities. But it's a real-time uh, connection with your PSA. So we work with ConnectWise and Autotask at the moment, looking to, looking to expand that. And we also connect to your sort of hardware suppliers as well. So you end up with this single pane of glass to create standardized bundles with upsells and sort of margin control built in there. You can see where the gaps are in service penetration, but also where the profitability is as well. So it's far mm. more than just the, the quotation uh, sort of element. And I think the biggest gain really comes when, you, when you're sending out a volume of quotes. So we're really after those MSPs that perhaps are doing a consistent run rate of, of quotes where there's actually a real efficiency gains to be had there. So we're just, yeah, automation and standardization is the sort of the name of the game really for yeah. us. Yeah, and if anybody wants to find out more about Sales Builder, where can they go? I do lots of content on Sales Builder TV, so I'm going to give that a plug. I uh, was uh, just about to give you a <laughs> shout out for that. So this is this man, I have seen such a progression in the quality of the content that you put out over the past few years. It was years. terrible, wasn't you it, are... to start with? <laughs> See, this is how a friend takes a compliment. It's a small <laughs> step up, yeah. All joking aside, kudos for the content that you're putting out there. Thank it's you. educational, it's high quality. So yeah, let's give a shout out for Sales Builder where people can find out more and also your content. So. Yes, absolutely. So we, there's a free trial available on the Sales Builder site. Of course, like any site, you can book a demo with us. We're always happy to walk you through any of the tools. But on Sales Builder TV, it's more of the kind of thought leadership stuff. So we're very careful not to be salesy. So we're interviewing sort of industry experts, people like Richard also. <laughs> there's customers, that kind of thing. <laughs> 
uh, but yeah, we just get as much as we can in terms of value add content in there, and it's uh, hopefully, I hope it's a good resource to follow now. It it's, is, it's starting to build up nicely. It is an excellent resource, and thank you for being a great friend. Thank you for being such a champion of the community, all the work that you do at CompTIA and further afield on that. We appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate the opportunity to have a chat with you. It's great.